Well, folks, welcome back to another episode of the Worn Outdoors Network. Now, we came out here this morning. We woke up a little too late to sneak in the woods, so I figured, you know what, let's go fishing. And we've already fished at this other pond out here, and we've caught bass. And there's another pond right next to it, and I was like, hmm, I should try to fish it. You know, maybe there's some bass in there. I said, you know what, I'm going to take a break, kind of free my mind. Just go fish, no camera. Well, this is too good not to share. Y'all missed the first two catches. And they were pretty quick, and I'm telling you, they were pretty good compared to this other pond. And I caught them on this little jerk bait here. So uh, here's the catches right here. Now let's start fishing, folks. Literally, it's been two casts, two fish. And it's crazy because I'm I've only fished a jerk bait a couple times, so I can't tell you much. I couldn't tell you much about how to fish them. I've watched videos and stuff. Like I know how to fish them, but like confidence wise, I couldn't tell you how to fish them. And now I'm already very confident in it and I've only made two casts. And I'll show you folks how I'm fishing this today. Oh, too far. So I just reel, jerk, reel, jerk. Every now and then I'll pause it. And then real jerk, real jerk. I'll pause it. I just missed one right there. One had it. Didn't let him take it all the way. These fish are aggressive and I love it. Typical Florida for you though. Just make long casts like that. And then real jerk, real jerk pause it real and jerk yeah i didn't have any knowledge of this pond so i didn't know if there's anything in here or not i know there's some grass in here but other than that i don't really know structure wise what's in here so that's why I I was like, I'll just pick up a jerk bait because there's treble hooks I can rip through that grass if it's deep enough. If it's not deep enough, then we can go and adjust from there basically. But I haven't had it to so far. Yep, that's some of that grass and pine straw. Came through right there. Don't tell me you fish are getting camera shy. Y'all were just super aggressive. Ate it right at the bank. Look up there. That's what I'm talking about, folks. I saw him right in front of that bush swim up. So I literally stopped the bait and let him come smash it. I'm not trying to get down there in that slippery mud by the bank. So we'll bring this fish up here to me. Now that's a Florida big mouth bass, folks. That's what we're trying to get on video for y'all. Give me one second, let me grab him so I don't get hooked. Now it ain't no PB or nothing, but Florida big mouth bass for y'all right there. Look at there, folks. Look at that joker. Now we're gonna weigh in for y'all. I could shoot numbers and just be saying stuff, but I'll get an exact weight on y'all. Wait on this bad boy. And after that, we'll release him. But 
these are the fish we're trying to get into for y'all because we know y'all would appreciate one nice bass like this so gonna go ahead and get a quick weight and scale on pounds i know it's not huge but once again i'm just trying to show y'all here so show y'all something all right we're zeroed out there you go 210 2 pounds 10 ounces so we'll go ahead and turn the scale off get a quick pick get them back in the water look at that bass y'all actually take one uh old bucket mouth here and then we'll take one with him hard doing this by yourself <laughs> go back appreciate you for biting go back and get bigger Well, folks, we only got like, I'd say, 50 more minutes of fishing. So, going to continue slinging it and enjoy that time that we do have. But that's the reason, if y'all were curious to why you pause a jerk bait or moving baits like this every now and then, especially like frogs and stuff. Now you see, I was fishing right here. And right there in front of that twig I just snapped is where I seen that bass trying to roll after it. And when I seen that, obviously I paused, let him eat it. Because when you pause like that and those bass have an easy meal in their opinion, in their mind when they've been tailing it and it just stops, they're going to smash it 9 out of 10. That two pounder. Well, basically two and a half, that two and a half pounder showed y'all that there. So now we're back at it, seeing if we can catch something bigger. Looks like we're going to have to do a part two video to fishing out here in this pond since we don't have a lot of time to kind of just diagnose it or break it down and really fish it. But great potential so far we caught a two and a half pounder today got some duties we got to attend to so after this we'll make a part two for y'all folks at home of fishing this pond maybe we can get us an even bigger one you know a three pounder four pounder that real true florida big mouth bass that y'all want to see I definitely got to hit that time, so I'm going to make one more cast. But go ahead, um, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, the notification bell if you enjoyed this video, and check out some of our other ones as well. Like always, we appreciate y'all folks for watching. I mean, I can't thank y'all enough. Y'all have been amazing. We're slowly growing. Almost at 90 subscribers now, and I cannot believe it. I know a lot of people who are like big time YouTubers and stuff said it ain't much, but to us, it's a lot. Because we started this thing ourselves, done everything ourselves, and just never, never really expected much. Just wanted to share our passion for the outdoors. And not only do that, but the little bit of knowledge that we have with our viewers as well as any other outdoors men or women that we meet throughout our journey specifically the youth we that's how we continue 
our sport of hunting and fishing and shooting and all that good stuff going is reaching to you so as always we appreciate you folks and we will see y'all next time on part two of the mysterious pond